don't even know if this is on. How do I do this? Hi. <laughs> what is up? So, um, stop it. What's up, guys? Um, uh, this is my first YouTube live stream, and I couldn't figure out how to make it work for like a really long time. So, here I am. In the lot. So I just want to say hi to you guys. Uh, I've just started like using my YouTube more and I wanted to like ask if you guys have any questions or want to know more about what kind of stuff I'm going to be uploading and whatnot. I hope you can hear me. I don't even know if you can, but um, yeah. So fun fact, how's my day going? <laughs> I don't know if you can actually see it from here, but I have these like red marks under my eyes and it's because I had ice cream and I apparently am super lactose intolerant and uh, now I have all these marks all over my face from eating dairy so there's no more dairy for me. <sighs> so sad. Um, so that's how I'm doing. Um, yeah, so can you guys tell me what kind of vlogs you want me to do? Because I'm also going to be doing some vlogs with Gabby DiMartino and probably more with my mom. and. Um, I'm gonna be going to Comic-Con as well with my mom and so I can do some videos there. Um, so yeah, let me start answering some questions. Let's see. Do I have any idea when the another one video will come out? So I'm thinking it'll come out in August. That's our goal is to get it out in August. Um, so we'll see if that happens. <laughs> That's the goal. Hi, hi Puerto Rico. Salute ladies. Um, yes, my mom is a vegetarian. Um, 24 overnight challenge with, you know, it's funny. We actually are, we're thinking that we might do a 24 hour challenge together. We were, we were like planning what videos we wanted to do. So we might do, um, one of those. Yeah. I don't really know how to do them, but she does. So she'll teach me the ways. Um, hi, Machen's gal. Daily vlogs. Do people watch vlogs every day? If so, then why not? I might as well. <laughs> but yeah, because um, what what I'm trying to do is I wanna um, I want to upload the another one video on my channel. So I just want to kind of like start making it a good channel and make it something interesting for you guys. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I need more vlog ideas. Can you guys give me some? And I'll do them. I swear. I need I need to sing a couple covers for sure. Uh, can I try and pronounce? Uh, suke? Suki? I don't know. Uh, please sing fucking perfect. Yes, I saw you comment to that. I, I've been so bad about actually doing the covers that people have asked for. Um, but I, I saw that you posted that and I am going to do it at some point. There was a couple that I said I was going to do and I still haven't done them. So I need to like really get on it. Um, It's funny, people say my face looks like my mom, um, but I think if you guys saw my dad, you would see that I look like my dad a little bit more. Um, do a Madonna cover. I would love to. I don't know which one, I don't know. I, I definitely would. I think Madonna's fantastic. My mom wanted to be Madonna. That's That was her whole thing, her whole look. If you look at her like 80s pictures, she is trying to be Madonna super hard so genetically I have been forced to love Madonna as well so yeah I would do it but yeah yeah I will do more more singing videos for sure um, I want to do a makeup tutorial only because as you can see I don't really wear makeup um, but it's I just want to do it because I think it would be hilarious watching me try to put on makeup so I might, I might do a, a makeup tutorial and just show you how wrong, like I don't even use brushes. I just kind of like smear it on my face and hope that it works. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Makeup tutorial. Kelly Rip is my idol. I've actually never met Kelly because her and Mark are New York based. So uh, the cast that's in LA, sometimes I see them around um, when there's different events that I, I go to or whatnot, but I haven't met Kelly yet. So maybe at some point when I go up to Vancouver and visit my mom, I might 
I might run across her, but she seems really sweet. Hi, Slovakia. Thank you. These nails are still from the um, from the music video, and they're fake. I never have fake nails, and it feels weird because I normally just ha I grow my nails out. I do a, a, a reacting to fan edits. Yeah, I could do that. Um, yeah, because I've seen a few of the Riverdale edits. <laughs> I think we would have a really good time uh, watching those videos and reacting to them. You know what's funny? I was actually just watching uh, Fan Theories, a um, YouTube video, and somebody had the fan theory that Hal was the Black Hood, and I was like, good for them, because I, I didn't see that coming, actually. So that was, some of those videos are pretty awesome. I just got the Archie comic from Nat's Wrap yesterday, and I cried. Yeah, I've, I've uh, been keeping up with the Archie comics, too. They're pretty awesome. I want to, um... I want them to bring on that Tony has a secret sister, <laughs> and it's me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I do know Spanish. My dad is half Spanish, so I know the Spanish. Um, what is your favorite project that your mom worked on? Um, that's a good question. Um, I would say, actually, Witches of East End. It was just really fun. Uh, it was, like, the, the cast was amazing. Um, the show was really fun. I'm obsessed with witches, too, so I was, like, really into it. How do I go back and read? Oh, I can go back and read questions. It's, like, going too fast for me. Is it weird for you to have a famous mom at all? Like, is that... Um, you know, I have to say, my mom has been like on television and in film since I was born and I've grown up on set with her like ever since I was a baby I've been on set and so it's just it's it's a part of my my life it's it has been pretty consistent it's not like she got more successful you know she's always been successful um, so for me it's it's been um, pretty normal in the sense that it's just it's her job uh, just like you know if your parents are dentists and you go, you go to the, the office, and you know you just know that world, and that's kind of how it is for me as well. It's just that's that's all I know is, is uh, entertainment and music because my dad was in music as well, so I grew up in the studio with him too. So it, it can be weird sometimes when she's making out with my celebrity crush on TV, um, like Chase Crawford. I was there when they were making out on set, and I was like, I don't want to ever see this again. But other than that, it's 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 um, it's pretty normal for me. Where is Machen? I don't know. I have no idea where she is. I think she's, I don't know. <laughs> she's probably doing laundry or something. Uh, okay, I'm scrolling back. What, would you, what advice would you give someone who wishes to have an acting singing career? Um, hi in Mexico. I really want to go back. Um, so advice I would give, I think right now, we're in a really interesting, uh, a really interesting part of the music industry where you can have your own YouTube or Instagram or SoundCloud or whatever it is, and you can release your own music. Um, and that's something that has never really happened before. We've never had as an artist that's up and coming. We haven't had the opportunity to reach people outside of a smaller group. And with social media, you kind of have that opportunity now. So what I would suggest is, um, one, to perform as much as you possibly can at a birthday party, on the street corner, whatever you can do to sing and just get used to singing in front of people. And then also to not be afraid to upload videos and share them and just get yourself out there because um, we're really lucky to have social media as, a, as an outlet. We're not, we don't have to get signed to a label to be heard anymore. So. That's my advice. Do you like traveling? Yes. So at some point, I really want to set up a, a little tour. Even if it's just really small, I want to do something where I can travel and go to these places where I've been wanting to go for a while and sing and do a set and, and do that. Um, but I love traveling. I mean, I've traveled my whole life. We've pretty much moved wherever my mom was filming. So I've, I went to like 13 schools growing up. 
so I'm used to being on the road so um <laughs> wait let me listen you should do a video where you ask your mom and the rest of the cast questions about what happens behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, it is really, they're like a really funny group, so there's a lot of good stories. Let's see. What else? How did your parents react when you wanted to do music professionally? Um, they were actually really supportive. Um, I think first and foremost, they wanted to make sure that I was serious about it because um, it's it's not an easy industry and it can be very hard especially as a young girl but I, it's I've, I've been writing music since I was in like elementary school so it's not like I was just doing it for for no reason um, and they know that it's something that's really special to me so they were very supportive but they wanted me to make sure that I, I understood what I was getting into um, and have good self-esteem <laughs> so that I can make it out alive but yeah, they were very, very supportive. Where is your father from? Um, my father, he is from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, yeah, <laughs> he is from Albuquerque and he moved to LA and that's where he met my mom. They both moved from their hometowns and met each other um, when they were young. What advice would you give to someone who's struggling with self-confidence issues? Um, I would say that I think, I mean, right now it's really hard because we all compare ourselves to other people and it's really impossible to know what other people are going through too and we only see the best of, you know? Like when I post pictures, for the most part, it's gonna be my best angle. It's gonna be the best lighting I can get. Um, and I see that with other people too and I'm like wow I wish I wish I looked like that but aside from just like stepping away from comparing yourself to other people just know that what makes you different is your most beautiful feature and I know people say that all the time but once once you start embracing that you really see that like like for example with my hair I had been straightening my hair and curling my hair since I was like 12 because I grew up in predominantly white towns and people didn't really have curly hair and they told me I looked better with straight hair. So I always straightened my hair and I damaged it and, and I finally started wearing it natural and I, I got so many compliments like, wow, your hair is so different, it's so beautiful and large and curly and all that. And I, and I wish that I could have gone like back <laughs> like 10 years and started wearing my hair the way it naturally grows out of my head. Um, but it's, it's once you start really like embracing who you are, your confidence goes through the roof because you stop caring about what people say. So yeah, just embrace, embrace you. It takes time, but once you start working at it like every day and being positive when you look at yourself and being like, okay, let me compliment myself even if I don't feel like it, it'll, it'll get better. Um, I'm not getting a lot of questions. I'll scroll back in a little bit, but let's see what's next. I had therapy today and we talked about you for like five minutes because you, of the time you DM me with my mental health. Yeah, um, I did, is your, yeah, I see you. Um, I'm really glad that that worked out with therapy and I know that it's going to be an ongoing process and I'm really happy that you're, you're talking about it. Um, I can't say it enough with all the conversations we've had um, about mental health lately. Uh, it's just so important to talk about it. I know that it's not necessarily a solution, but just having that conversation in the first place will will get the wheels going to find a solution. Um, and I think that even when I posted a couple of things about mental health during Mental Health Month, I got to see a lot of people talking about what they're going through in the comments. And it then encourages other people who never talk about it to talk about it. And just starting a conversation right now in this day and age is, is huge. So. Um, thank you for for sharing that with me and I'm glad that therapy is going going well um, okay let's see hi from Serpent Ho <laughs> that made me so happy it's hilarious I need to think of more clever names for myself um, if you could do a duet with any artist that are alive who would it be um so my um, my favorite 
artist um, is Prince. It has always been Prince. My dad is obsessed with him, so uh, of course I am too. And um, I I love him. Um, but I think as far as like a duet, I actually really I really like The Weeknd. I like his music. Um, there's somebody else that I always say I would want to do a duet with. Miguel. And Robin. So Robin, not Robin Thicke, but Robin, just Robin. She is, she's one who sings, um, I'm in the corner watching you kiss her. Oh, I'm right up. Dancing on my own. Love that song. I love her as an artist. I was her for Halloween once. Um, oops, what did I just do? Ah. Come to Puerto Rico. I need to like get a poll and see if I did shows in certain places who would come so I can see where I should go because I would totally go to Puerto Rico. Um, let me scroll back a little bit. How was it growing up with parents of different races? How did it shape you as a person? You know, that's um, a very interesting question. Um, I think there was a lot of layers in that. Um, Part of it being that we were in the public eye it was kind of hard sometimes to have parents of different races because believe it or not some people don't like that <laughs> and um that was something that we had to deal with as kids um being being discriminated against for being mixed which you would think wouldn't be happening these days but it does um but i think it just being a mixed family makes you aware of race whether it's positive or negative, it's just something that's uh, that you're aware of. Um, and I think sometimes too, uh, when you're mixed, you don't necessarily belong to any one culture or race, and so you kind of have to, you know, be independent and, and not really uh, get caught up in, in. Ooh, my phone's dying. Whoops. Um, yeah. Anyway, it was it was interesting. Um, okay, let me scroll back. Do I want to get into acting anytime soon? Yeah, well, so actually, uh, I started I started taking acting a lot more seriously this year, and I've been auditioning a lot. Um, a lot of stuff in the CW universe, so hopefully sometime soon I'll be on a show and I'll be able to share all of that with you. But as of right now, I'm just auditioning a lot. Um, yeah. I, I do I, I do love it though acting has again like it's like I've said it's always been a part of my life and it's really nice to to work that muscle too so we'll see do I ship phallus quite honestly I don't I don't because now don't hate me it's because I feel like Alice is such an independent woman and I want her to be happy but I feel like when she's doing her solo like walking in with her serpent dress like you know situation she's at her most like badass and when she's just all about Betty and all that I just I like that about her she's at her her funniest in her character but quite honestly you know if, if she's happy with FP then so be it but I don't know I like Alice and Betty as their own little Cooper duo okay let me do a few more. I don't want to keep rambling on for you guys. Um, but I, but don't hate me. I mean, I support Phallus if it happens, but I don't know. I like the Coopers as their own little fierce feminine sleuthing duo. Um, there's something I wanted to answer. I can't do that. Mm. I'm seeing there's a lot more questions that I didn't. Sorry. Uh, uh, anyway, I guess at some point I'm going to try and figure out where I want to try and travel and um, and perform because I do a lot of performances here in LA. But I think if we can work it out, I want to do a little tour of some sort. Um, let me do. Let me do two more. Yeah, I wish I could tell you all the characters I've gone in for. I, I said in my vlog that I went in for Tony Topaz. I went for a couple of Sabrina characters as well. But, and I've actually gone in for a few other things on the CW, so. We 
we will see. Um, can you keep the live on YouTube? On it, okay, I don't, I barely got this live thing to work. I was like 20 minutes late as you saw. So I'm gonna try and keep it, but I, I don't know if I will, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. If you could work with one actress or one actor, who would they be? Um, honestly, I, I would love to work with my mom. I think it'd be super fun. Uh, she's the one who's been, whenever I have self tapes, instead of going in, she's the one who reads with me. Um, and we have a really good, like, acting relationship. Um, and I think that would be really fun to see as two different characters. So at some point I would love to do something with my mom. And as far as a guy, um, probably, it's a good question. Probably Cole, because I feel like what you guys don't see is that Cole is a prankster when, in between, um, in between shots. And I think it would be really funny to try and get through a scene with Cole because I don't think I would be able to because I would be laughing. And then when I start laughing, I can't stop laughing. And then I would get fired. So I'll do one more and then I'll do another live stream soon. I'll do another vlog. Um, I will, oh, question. Could you do a video of you reacting to yourself games? Oh my god. Um, down the line, when I'm super famous and I actually have a career to not ruin, I will. At this point, no. Because <laughs> I would get no jobs. First memory on a set. Um, first memory on a set, I think was my mom getting shot with a bow and arrow and something. I don't even know. Uh, which one is your favorite song from your own songs? Um, Actually, I think it's another one. I think it's the song that's coming out with Gabby and with Kai Lucas. I really like the song. I wrote it a long time ago, so I've been sitting on it for a long time and I really want to share it. The video is going to be so cool. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm hoping again to get it out in August and it'll be hopefully on this channel. So that's why I want to try and get you guys to um, watch the behind the scenes. I think I'll actually... I think I'll post a behind the scenes. We did some videos, me and Gabby, behind the scenes, so maybe I'll post that. Um, hi to Rachel from Connecticut. I went to school in Connecticut for a super long time. I went to um, Hurlbut and Weston Middle and Norwalk. Hi. So I know all about Connecticut, so hi to you. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm in a parking lot, people are looking at me. Charlotte from LA. Charlotte, come to one of my shows in LA so I can meet you. Um, I don't know when the next one is. I think we did the W Hotel rooftop last time. So, I don't know, but I'll keep you updated and come by. Um, hi from Belgium. Hi! I want to go out there too, because I'm German and whatnot. So I, or, and, and just European of different countries that I don't even know about. Alright, well, goodbye. I'm gonna do more of these, so I'll let you know when the next one is. Rachel from Michigan, hi. I've been somewhere in Michigan. When I ran track, I used to run at different states and stuff, and we had meets in Michigan. I forget where, though. Anyway, but hi. Um, hope everyone is not burning up in the sun. Stay safe, and I will talk to you guys soon. And now, hi to Ireland. And Poland. Man, I'm gonna go to all these places, I swear. Okay, now I'm gonna try and turn this off. And I don't. Do I do this? What is that? Okay, bye!